That's nice. So you, Eric, that's like Eric when he drives home, just singing the shit. You sing shit by yeah. yourself, yeah. That's oh, how yeah. it sounds. I have I play karaoke in my car. Pretty lit, actually. <laughs> you know, yep. on, on the screen, the words come up. You know yep. what I mean? And I'm just like, unbreak my heart, <laughs> say you love me again. <laughs> just fucking undry these tears. <laughs> <laughs> you ever met this guy? Oh, I'm the dumb one. You can't argue there's something about me. You have no idea what you're saying. Gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. Sword. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe in the 80s. This was the 80s, right? This was, was so 80s. That's He's very 40, 16 here. <laughs> He's very <laughs> 80s for sure. 100%. I mean, he looks like he, like, either 80s or 2022. Like a two, the guy, well, I mean, you know. Oh, he went to the Met Gala. Right, we right, started? right. Yeah, yeah, we started, yeah. Um, yeah. Have you seen, did you see Jared Leto? I didn't. Uh, yes, I did with the Gucci guy. What the fuck is this? That's Jared Leto. Have That's Jared Leto? Yeah, at the Met Gala. Have y'all met these nuts, son? That's what I want oh, to know, Oh, I thought that boys. he just wore a suit. Are you sure that's Jared Leto? That is Jared Leto. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just be known for acting. Yeah, yeah. Jared Leto. He looks like a Gala. peacock. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I mean, there's a lot going on there, man. Okay, it's got to be so dangerous. And I love huh? Dude, Check this out. Imagine you're at the Met Gala and you're over at the bar getting a drink, and this motherfucker's sit, standing there like that. How do you have just a normal conversation I, with a dude your like eye that? Out. How do you keep yeah. your eyes safe? Yeah. Well, I know where you get a straw from. First of all, <laughs> <laughs> and second of all, I, look, he's <laughs> he's an artiste, man. He comes out. There, that's what he is, bro. He wear he'll wear the damn silverware drawer to the to the mall. You know that's how he does it. That doesn't look like him to me. Yeah. Can you zoom in his face? Yeah, looks like he's got a mask on too. He looks like Gary Oldman. Oh, he does look like Gary Oldman. What's wrong with me? Oh, those are. I mean, yeah, that's this obviously. Is, this is like say, Fifth too, Element. This is Gary Oldman. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's I don't Jared Leto. See it, but yeah, I guess. I mean, it is him. But like, wow, wow that's so annoying. Imagine just like having to be with him and be like, all right, let's go. Oh God, like we're watching out for yeah, him and shit. Imagine, like, imagine yeah. just getting ready with that. You know? Yeah. Yeah, or having him get in the car and you just set him in the trunk. Yeah, how would he get there? Yeah. <laughs> so and he shows up. So FedEx. <laughs> FedEx. <laughs> Yeah, how did he get there? What would his name be if he was a co-host on the podcast? Mm. Oh, God. So it's King, the Tin, Wing, and the what? Poll question. And the fucking, uh, who knows, man? <laughs> That's bad. But uh, the other outfit was good. The one that he dressed with the Gucci guy on the, on the left right there. Yeah. No, you had it right there. Right there. Left. There you go. That's cool. I mean, that's pushing it, but it's cool. Why y'all looking at these man's clothing, bro? It's what we do, baby. It's like it's like he almost had it, but then he has a purse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the you know purse I mean? is bad. Yeah, that's cool though. But where are you gonna keep your stuff, bro? Yeah, that what? Like what? If you don't have no pockets, I, that the, see that's the problem is if a pant doesn't have a pocket on it, it should come. You with think a small... those have pockets? What about these? Mm -hmm. I will fucking keep your stuff yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, where, where, where? You can hang your keys on any of those <laughs> one thousand hooks. He got yeah. his house keys right there. <laughs> 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 he got his mail key over here. <laughs> Yeah, man, it, that's just that new age janitor, baby. Dude, I remember Remember when Jan you ever walked behind the janitor at school and he had all those keys on him and it always just blew your mind. You were like, how does he know where all the keys go? For all yeah, the it's doors. Like having, it's like having passwords. For oh, like it was crazy. That's why every janitor was there for fucking years and years and years. They had to be there so they could learn the keys. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's crazy. Look at that. Oh. And now like, everything's just fucking doot, 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 or fingerprint. But how do you know all the keys? Like, it's just like. That's why he's that old. That was the fucking day that he finally knew all the keys. He held them up. He said, like, see, now I know. It. How many yeah. janitors shit their pants because Not they didn't lot. get the, the the bathroom key? <laughs> like, they got right? shit and they're just like, yeah. oh, fuck. They didn't get it right. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, janitors, I remember one time we I was walking in the hall by, uh, by behind two, like, uh, serve, not like kind of helper men at the yeah. school, janitors or helper men. And they, one of them said to the other one, he's like, hey, we got to get the chairs put up in the gym. Um, Mr. Grant is speaking. And the guy goes, Ulysses S. Grant? <laughs> and he goes, fuck right. no, Mr. Grant, the science teacher. <laughs> yeah. And it was a real conversation. Like the dude <laughs> thought that Ulysses S. Grant was going to speak at our school. Ulysses S. Grant. I know. The long dead. Was dead. <laughs> I know. Did you know then too? Yeah. Yeah. And so everyone laughed at him. 
No, I was the only one that heard it. It was just them two uh, walking in the hall, uh, and I was behind them. And ironically, and the guy's like, "Hey, we need to get the chairs put up." Mr. Grant speak, and he's like, "Ulysses Grant." And he's like, "Mr. Grant, the fucking science." He had to be joking. joking. And Ulysses Maybe. Grant, ironically, is Theo's father. Yeah, uh, <laughs> y'all are hating, bro. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, sorry if my dad was a general dog and y'all's dad ain't shit. <laughs> Your dad was just general. But look. <laughs> This, that was before basic. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. It was like before Come basic. On, look at him. Oh, shit, old bitch. <laughs> General Mail. Yeah. General Mail sounds like a mail catalog, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm sure it is. General Mail? Yeah. I'm sure it is. Um, yeah. One time I saw a guy, uh, 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 what do you, what we call him? Uh, janitors. And they were, he was cleaning up this fucking paint on the wall. I said, who did that? And he turned around and he said, assholes, that's who. I think about that all the time, dude. <laughs> I think about it all the time, and I felt so bad for that dude. Was he, he was right. Asshole. Was he a 1930s actor? No, I know that's what yeah. it fucking seemed. That's what it, it, it was like. He was in a play. Assholes, dude. Assholes, <laughs> and just fucking. Yeah, it was, and it was a musical. No, I'm saying you <laughs> yeah. just said it was it's, it's a 19. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And was he a tall guy? What did the guy look like? Uh, he was tall. Yeah, tall janitor. Tall for a janitor. Tall is a tall goes with janitor. If you're mm. a tall janitor, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah, guess yeah. you got to be because you got to reach shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're you on the broom. That paint was high. You had that long yeah. broom. That paint was high. You can't have like Brad Williams be a mm -mm. the janitor. Mm -mm. And you yeah. can't get anything It'd be in so the closet. So much dirt up in the in yeah. top. Yeah. <laughs> we had a little janitor at uh my I had a my niece's kindergarten. They had a little janitor there, and he would literally push the vacuum with his shoulder, bro. He would um. <laughs> Like get the vacuum thing going. It was an upright, and he would push it with his shoulder like a football player hitting one of those. And he was small, huh? Yeah, oh, a small person. janitor. Yeah, and he would just be like, "Oh wow, pull up them uh, <laughs> and he football would, pad things." And he would do the the sweep the <laughs> vacuuming like this. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> oh man. Well, oh me. Oh man, you you took it to a whole other. Did yeah, That's how it would be. It was just real shit. But his is a real story, maybe. Yeah. So how did he vacuum then? If he was pushing the vacuum, huh? He was, he was doing it like this. No, he would push it like push this. It yeah. to get or he it would lean place. back against it like this and push no, it. No, see, okay, now he's going to hell too. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just telling you, the guy cut corners sometimes. Right. Yeah, it was like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that sag bag football tackle sled. <sighs> tackle sled. There you go. All right, well, what do we got here? What do you mean this is it, man? Speaking of janitors. Is this guy a janitor? First of all, does, I feel like this beautiful guy definitely uh, has sent in a video before. Has he? Really? Right. Probably. I, I don't recognize him, but I don't doubt You guys it. got a lot of repeats. That's nice. You loyal fans. Hey, what's up, guys? Brendan, Theo, Chris, Eric, Good Nick, voice. Chin, everybody else in the studio. What's going on? My name is Devin from Canada, and I oh, have a yeah. debate club for you guys today. So let me lead you into the story, okay? I used to work security at the checkpoint in the Calgary airport. And on two different occasions, I actually met Chris and Theo because they were coming through that checkpoint. And I stopped and talked to both of you guys because the night before, I was at both of your shows. Huh. Now, when Theo came through, he walked through the metal detector, and you know your boy lit that thing up. So I had to ask yeah. Theo whether or not he wanted the body scan or a pat-down. Now, Theo, he chose the pat down. Wow, of course. So I gave him the pat down, and lucky for him, it was me doing it. So I let your man go, and it was all good. But the bait club is this when you guys go through that airport, are you picking the body scan or a pat down? Gang, you, gang, buzz, buzz, sore. Well, you know, Why, Theo, why'd you do a pat down? He, he, needed, he needed some intimacy. In first his of life. all, what set it off in the first place was the two straps I won over this <laughs> fucking clown. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, that's why you wanted the pat down. You wanted, you wanted to give him something and because so, of that. So, second of all, the thing that uh, I like the pat down because I don't trust the machinery. I would rather get the hands on. I would rather know if something's going on or not and have somebody know than the machine. Like if you secretly brought a bomb? Yeah. Or are you, are you trying to get like a no. a ball exam or something? Like, what do you mean something's no, going guess, on? What, what if is he going to find out? On you? And that's the guy I'm talking about. Yeah, uh, we know. What if somebody <laughs> put something on you, right? Like yeah. you, somebody <laughs> snuck a bullet or somebody, you know, if a, uh, what is it called? Somebody from another country is doing crime here. What is that called? Uh, a terrorist? Terrorist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> does put something on you. They snuck a blade in your jacket or they put a thing. Yeah. Of, uh, you want to know? Yeah, well, I want somebody to fucking okay, help so, me know. So if you're on the plane. Here we are. If you're on the plane and this, all of a sudden you notice because you went through the uh, fucking body scan and not a pat down that you've got a razor on you by mistake and somebody put it there. Mm -hmm. you, you do what? Hijack the plane? No. <laughs> no. You just chill with the radio. Well, I don't know how this got here. 
So uh, what the fuck you need a pat down for? I don't think. Also, human error is way, way more uh, prevalent than the fucking sh- sh- that thing. But that thing, what's it doing? You want? Yeah, you're scared. It's because you're scared. It's okay if it's fear. Mm-hmm. If you think it's because of radiation. Well, here's another thing. I will say this: that the thing is that the the, the scanner here's what the scanner should do is give you a fucking MRI. You're already there. It should give you some information. <laughs> See, I one. told you he was looking for some <laughs> fucking ghetto medical treatment. Extra shit. You always <laughs> want extra shit. shit. It's some ghetto medical treatment. Shit. He's yeah. like, can y'all check and see if yeah. I got an, a, my prostate I'm gonna is okay? To do it. I'm gonna have to do an MRI anyways <laughs> yeah. at some point. So why don't you just fucking? I'm gonna get the radiation. Do it now. Yeah, yeah. Red that cat. You want an Red extra shit? And then he wants a printout like he, after the thing. So can I get that printout? So when he's patting you down. You just say, and would you feel for testicular cancer? Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, here's what they should do is the, the old trick is tell them something's in your ass and they go look in there for you, bro. <laughs> the old trick. Nice. <laughs> and then they don't find anything and you're off the hook. And they're the weirdo they've been looking in your ass. That, okay. I, fair enough. Yeah. You play by the rules. And if there's something, yeah, you got to look yeah. in my ass. You no, rule, just told me if Theo does not have medical insurance. Well, I'm just yeah. saying you can say I took a nap upstairs on the second level of the airport for an hour. I woke up. It feels like something's in my ass. But if you told them that. <laughs> Mm. Mm. You know how they say don't leave your luggage? Yeah. yeah. Theo, yeah. you had to tell Theo don't leave your ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exposed. Always be awake. <laughs> Always be awake because yeah. your ass might Wear a get chest filled. Belt. Yeah. Sleep with one ass closed, baby. That's my motto. And that's pretty much 100% of your ass is closed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a little break, fellas, because the boys are on the road. What are we talking about, man? Where are you going to be? Dude, I'm glad you <laughs> asked, dude. I'm in Philly next week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm in Philadelphia, son, at the Helium. May 19th through the 21st, I am there. And then I'm uh, shopping friends one night at the Hollywood Improv. Some people you see on camera right now will be there. That's one night only, May 25th. And then Portland, Oregon, June 9th through the 11th. And then San Francisco, Cobbs, my, one of my favorite clubs, June 17th through the That's 18th. A big one. That's a fun one. But Philly, you're up next. Come get some. Uh, Thickboy.com for tickets. You know what you can do is go to Hollywood, California, May 25th, and go to Brendan Schaub and Friends, and then stay for the Chris D'Elia and Friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and you know what? You might see both of us. You might see both of us both times. You might see Eric both times. Yeah. May 25th, Hollywood, California. But uh, my tour tour is uh, me going on, on tour is uh, Atlanta, Georgia. I'll be there September 9th, September 10th, Washington, D.C., uh, I'm doing Stockton, Oakland, Peoria, Rockford, Illinois, Raleigh, Denver, big one, oh, Belco Theater, Denver, November 5th, Cheyenne, Wyoming, and then Boston, which I'm excited about. I love Boston, November 12th, and I Jacksonville, Florida. I don't have Florida. my stupid days with this dumb website. Chrysalia.com, Chrysalia.com, <laughs> Chrysalia.com. What'd you say? Don't even, just take that off the screen. Right. You know what I mean? It's yeah, not yeah. even right. Yeah. Dude, but I'm gonna be you do that, shit. right? You do that? Yeah, yeah. yeah I have yeah, to yeah, do yeah. it my damn self. Yeah. But I'm going to be uh, at, in the Dania Beach Improv. It's a new improv. Right, yeah. I just picked up the gig Dania, last minute. it's fun. Yeah, it's that's this club. weekend. So this today, if you're watching this today, so Friday and Saturday, come check me out and uh, there. And then, um, you know, Creed from... Uh, uh, With the, arms wide office. open. No, no, not that Creed. Oh. But Creed from The Office, yeah. the old guy. Yeah. He's actually a great musician. I'm going to be with him at the Mint on the 21st. Oh, yeah, I saw you post about that. Yeah, I'm going to be with him on the Mint at you the 21st. Singing? He's singing, and I'm going to do comedy to o- open up. He does like some kind of comedy thing, so William he's a funny Charles guy. So Schneider. That's oh. what he goes by. So come check. But Daniel Beach, man, if you come, Go see come Eric. today. Daniel, yeah, it's a good Tomorrow, club. today, it's a fun tomorrow, club. Yep. Saturday. Come check yeah. me out. Staff, yeah, cool. fun. Sounds good. Yeah. Nobody in this room has a problem we with their hair. We lucked out, but still, what are we talking about here, baby? Dude, listen, I told you, my crowd is a real wiener fest. And <laughs> right. I see a lot of these guys at the meet and greet, you're losing your hair. Here's a little fact You're seeing you. a lot of forehead in the beginning of the, sh- uh, the show. You're looking at a lot yeah. of foreheads. I'm like, I can they can really see. benefit from What can they benefit from? Keeps, man. And don't feel lonely because more than 50 million bros in the U.S. suffer from male pattern baldness. <laughs> Keeps offers a simple, affordable, stress-free way to keep your freaking hair, man. 24-7 care and support. It's low cost. $10 a month. That's it. $10, $10? a month. $10? Yes, Dad. I would think it. it would at least be at least be forty grand a month. Uh, me too. That's what I thought. <laughs> Unbelievable. Grand. That's how important it is. To yeah, how import- I know. How important is your hair? Keeps has everything your hair needs delivered straight to your door. Also, look, for me, prevention is key. Do you know what I mean? Um, I've got a big forehead. If that keeps going back and back and back, I am in... 
serious trouble. Your ticket sale? That's why they call it keeps. Yes, because <laughs> yes. you're here. Remember, prevention is key. Treatments can take four to six months to see results, so act right now. If you're ready to take action, prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash K A T S. That's K E E P S dot com slash cats to receive your first month of treatment free. That's keeps.com slash cats to get your first month free. K E E P S dot com slash K A T S. Hey Chris, I know yeah. you're. I know you're a big NBA fan. Yeah, you're a big sports guy. But here's the deal, though. I'm a <laughs> fan of things, and I like things. And this is a thing. And then also betting. I'm in because you. To, in order to get things, you need money. And if you like basketball and you want to make money, you gotta use DraftKings sportsbooks. The official sports betting part of the NBA. This week, new customers can bet just $5 on any team. So, to- okay, so if you can bet $5, what are you going to win? You're going to win $6? Dude, <laughs> dude, what? You bet $5 on any team no, dude, to win $10? and get $150 in free bets. Yo, what? Nutsos. <laughs> they got parlays. DraftKings? <laughs> yeah, dude, and you got DraftKings. What, this, is a de- this is a steal, dude. It's nuts. And okay, you're, well, if you're, you're looking excited. to turn, so if you're telling me if you're looking to turn a small bet into a big payday, during the NBA playoffs, you can do that with DraftKings. Yep, dude. Same and game parlays. Yes. You can just do ju- just that. Just that. Create your own parlay by combining multiple bets, like which team will win, total threes made, total rebounds, and more. And boom, you have a shot at an even bigger payout. Right now, all customers can place the same game parlay with three or more legs and get a free bet back up to twenty five dollars if one leg doesn't hit. Wow! Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. Use promo code KATS. Cats. Bet- Five dollars on any NBA team to win their what, game. What do you mean, like six bucks or what, dude? And get one hundred and fifty dollars in free bets if they what? One hundred and fifty? I like your excitement. Okay. Dude. Yeah. 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 That's promo code KATS only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Minimum age eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. See next page for directions for disclaimer. Here is a babe right there. Is that the Cameron? Charlie's Hello, my king and the sting in the wing family. My name is Robin and I could really use some relationship advice. Mm-hmm. I'm 46 years old and um, men my age don't like me. I like them, they don't like me. Really? Um, so basically my dating pool has just been a bunch of 20 to 35 year olds <sighs> mm. um, who are, you know, boldly hitting on me and don't mm. seem to give a crap about my age. Uh-huh. And I'm very forthright with it. I, you know, don't have anything to hide. But, um, yeah, I don't get it. Why don't men my age huh. even hit on me? Help me. They want that Please. monkey, baby. That's are what they, I'm saying. Buzz, buzz, and caca. Are they, uh, are they uh, intimidated by her? I mean, and, maybe like the younger really? dudes. Oh, this is, yeah. this, y- y'all going to not be 100? Okay. <laughs> oh, no. I, yeah, no. What is okay. it? What, okay. is it are you They're saying? Gonna be well, no, no, no. Hold on a second. Are you <laughs> saying? Are you saying because the older dudes are That's looking me. for younger I, he's women? Talking, yeah. Is that what you're saying? No, yeah, I, yeah. I know, but bro, she's hot. I know, but and, and if you want to like be with somebody okay. and you're older, here, check this out. If you are, if let's say you're 46, mm-hmm. 47, mm-hmm. 48 year old, mm-hmm. 50 year old guy, mm-hmm. and let's say you want to get into a relationship, yeah, and you want to have kids. Oh, okay, yeah, well, definitely. You maybe you don't want to start with somebody forty six. I understand that, but okay. there's a lot but, of guys. Okay, okay, I'm with you. I'm okay. with you. Okay. But now, if you are somebody that's like, hey, I've already been married, I yeah, had yeah, kids yeah. already, and I just want to be with somebody, then this is perfect. But what the thing is is like my question, and it's not that it's her fault. I'm asking, where is she looking for? Well, yeah, that's definitely these guys. Key. Like, where are yeah. you looking? Are you looking online? Because the, a lot of the guys will say, "Oh, he's interested in you know, she's what 46." They'll be like 20 to yeah, 40, yeah. and then she's out, and yeah. she's forthcoming about her age, which is fine, which is good, of course. But then you're missing out on that category. If you're out at a bar, then there's also fucking 25, 26 year olds at the bar, yeah, yeah. and the fucking 40 year old dudes are like, "What's up?" Why? Do you, but don't, well, they're not even. But at don't the meet bar. a guy at a bar anyway. Yeah. So like, yeah, I just you. say, I just my advice is widen your search to different places, different interests, yeah. different, uh, uh, look for people that have similar interests to you that are not just in the in this like world of like online dating and all that kind of stuff because but, those guys are looking for, yeah, you know? I feel, yes. obviously, a lot of people with this lady probably just trying to plump that monkey a little. Well, she's you dumb. feel me? They're trying to get up on them yum kettles, baby. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, talking about. Yum, look at them. yum kettles? <laughs> Tits, yeah. I think. Tits. What are you tits? talking about? <laughs> tits. <laughs> Do we have tits? <laughs> 
Yum kettles. I like that. I'm just saying, baby. She got them real fucking fluff tonsils on her. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm sorry. Fluff tonsils? <laughs> can you, uh, you, can you, is the answer. Can you use that in, what is the origin of fluff tonsils, please? Yeah, yeah. Can we get the, uh, can you use that in a sentence? It originated as yam, what was that fucking, <laughs> yam kettles? Yam kettles. Them yum kettles, yum, baby. Yum this, kettles. this lady's obviously sporting that kitchenware, dog. You know what I'm talking Dude, about. Dude, do you do that when you fuck? <laughs> yeah, nice He's yum like kettles. Oh, those yum oh, yeah, kettles. Those yum kettles. That's actually kind of hot. Mm. It's not bad, man. It is what it is. But I'll say this: Do you think this lady is really having a problem? That's what I'm wondering. Yeah, I think so. I think that she is well, looking for a particular type of guy, and she oh, wants to date right. somebody her age. And, and then, like, and then, like, yeah, it's probably fun to have some thirty year old pound those yum kettles, right? Yeah, but but, and but now, but she's looking that's for like, what she wants. That's yeah. not what she yeah, wants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. She wants somebody she could watch TV with yeah. and fucking be like, remember Matlock? You exactly. know what I mean? Yeah. Like she exactly. can't fucking dun, 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 dun. She wants to do That's that. That's Law and Order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they, well, yeah, but she needs to guess old. Like, <laughs> right, 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 hey, right. Remember right. those? Remember Who's your things? favorite Batman? And they go yeah. together. Adam West. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? They yeah, don't yeah. fucking like Sean Connery is her favorite. Exactly. Exactly. Of course, Never it's not Daniel Craig. Yeah, yeah, but what I'm saying is like, so that particular guy, he's out there. She's cute. Hit her up. I think she is cute, man. I have just met her. She's obviously in Orange County. She's in. Yeah, she's in somewhere nice. Yeah. Because look, you could tell by her hair, she's rich, bro. And I'll say this also, she is in that age range where I think if there's a lot of like pervy men at 60, they're looking for 25, 32 year old. And know. if there's a lot of men that, so she kind of gets left out of that space. Uh -huh. I don't know. I just think, uh, you know, you have to just expand your base. But and, I don't believe know? that a man isn't trying to get, a, isn't yeah. trying to meet yeah. this lady. That's she, the part I don't believe. She might mean uh, in a long term, right? That's what I mean. She's yeah. looking for like a long term yeah. relationship yeah. with a, but you know, you have to, you have to just decide too, is like, you know, if you're, you're, you're some guy, you're, you know, you're, if there's some, wealthy whatever yeah. guy right like, like what do you mean like a count or something what, what, what is he a count, yeah account <laughs> yeah like yeah, a does a count want to deal with like whatever that what what does that person want to deal with mm, you know i don't know it has to be matching personalities i, I say to her try like e-harmony or these mm, kinds of things mm. where you have to like fill out a questionnaire and like you know uh you know what i mean she gonna be Get fine man y'all sweating this lady too much no I we're think. not I, I want her she's to asking succeed. for advice she's a, yeah she sent her video in asking us for advice and you telling us we sweating her we're doing too much yeah, no. Yum but I'm kettles. Saying, You're not bro. even really helping that much, man. You just said she had yum kettles and yeah. fluff bonkers. Or whatever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah you all like show me them fluff bonkers, girl. <laughs> right. At least I'm giving her opportunity for some mating. Yeah, well, <laughs> she's here. already said she's she's done mating. Well, look, baby, she got. No, them, did she say that? Yeah, she's got 25 year olds uh, all okay. the time. She's okay. she got them slam hampers on her freaking chest. <laughs> I'm sorry, well, sorry baby. Uh, once so again, uh, need some slam help. Slam hampers. Slam hampers. That one doesn't even make sense. I'm gonna lock y'all up in my nose. Nuts, you little bitches. <laughs> right. Let's roll, bro. She's right. going to be fine. I'll see you at the mall. All right. time. Rami Malik. We got Rami Malik. <laughs> yeah. What's up, guys? I got a relationship advice question here. What if uh, it was being accused of being Rami Malik? Yeah, what, that was his question. What do you do if <laughs> you are vehemently trying to convince your friends yeah. you're not Rami Malik? Yeah, I am not Mr. Robot. Since Queen come out? <laughs> uh, a little bit unusual because about my mother. Mm. Um, not dating my mother. I'm from the Northeast. So what if that was his mom? The other girl. Yeah. <laughs> but um, she's a bit of a booze bag, and I still live at home. And I moved back home recently after a couple of years away to save some money for when the world tanks. Uh, my fiance and I can slide in, buy a home at a cheap price. So I'm just saving up a little extra. But uh, her drinking's worse than worse than ever, probably. And mm. she's getting bundled nowadays. She's getting absolutely shit faced. Yep. It doesn't stop at one glass, but one glass and she's just full re. And I can't get through to her. She seems like she kind of wants to get better, but doesn't really. And I'm just fucking sick of it. Okay. I'm at the point where do I say, fuck it. And <laughs> may or may not have a grandmother for my children. Or do I like start being a dick and I'm like, hey, I'm going to throw your wine out in the woods here. Like, I don't know what to do at this point. So gang, gang, buzz, buzz, flat, flap. Thank you. Whew, this is oh, tough. One. God, that made me fucking tear up, dude. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Did your mom drink? No, no. <laughs> it's just tough, man. It's like, fuck. Yeah. It's just tough, man, because you fucking lose your your family off this shit. And it's just brutal, man. Yeah. Just I feel for you, man. I feel for your mom too. It's fucking rough. And what do you what do you feel like's rough about it, man? I mean, I feel I hear you. I'm just thinking about it with you. 
I mean, he can't control her behavior, you know? He he can't try and help her. He can only, there comes to a point where the only thing he can do is let her fuck up. And then she has to figure it out herself, you know? And that's I mean, I've hard, met so many of these fucking people. Yeah, me too. And that's a hard thing to do when it's a loved one because what you end up doing is enabling their behavior. And when you enable their yeah. behavior, it only makes it worse. And then it's hard when people say it's so easy just to be like, you know, you have to let them hit rock bottom. But if when you love someone, it is hard to watch a loved one hit rock bottom. Yeah. Then you feel like, oh, man, well, I, sh- I could have done more. But, you know, yeah. it, it's just one of those things where. It's, it's just one of those things. You're just going to fuck it up. You're going to yeah. fuck it up like you're going to fuck it up. And hopefully she makes it out. I mean, there's no right way to deal with it. There's only the textbook way, which is let her deal with it the way she needs to deal with it. And, you know, Cutting, sometimes cutting someone out of your life is a favor to them. And, you know, this guy's having a kid or whatever, or has a kid. It's like, yeah, I, I, I have a kid and I'm and thinking about my kid not being able to see my parents because of that or something. It's just heartbreaking. Yeah, yeah it's tough. Yeah, that's real challenging, man. If somebody, you, if you're trying to wait for somebody, and, and what exactly was he saying? I mean, I heard him, but I'm saying he was saying he's living there to save money, but the mom is drinking a lot. Yeah, yeah. that's how. That's when he noticed. Yeah, he started he, living with her. He said she always. Uh, I I cut some out because it was like a yeah, mid yeah. forty, but uh, he said she used to always have a glass of wine. And he thought his dad was the drinker because yeah. he'd get hammered on weekends. But mm. now when he's living with her, he sees she's getting hammered every night. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's challenging, man. Yeah, and I think it's hard for him. I don't know if it's hard or easy for a mother to hear something from her son that's like that. You know, I think. I mean, it's, some it's mothers the person have, to tell her. It's the person to tell her. That's yeah, the, that's mm-hmm. for sure. Well, but the but the thing too is like this guy has trying to. He's trying to control his own life too. Yeah. So he's trying to be like, I'm having a kid. I'm trying to save money. I have my woman. We're trying to do this thing. And then there's this albatross. There's this thing here that's like. Mm-hmm. What do I do? This little thirst bear. Yeah, what do I do? Yeah. And so he's like doesn't know what to do because whatever choice he makes, he's going to feel shitty. Yeah. yeah. And that's the that's what's hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that's like, what's hard. Yeah, raising oh. your kid, raising Calvin, it's like you're going to fuck up. You're going to fuck up. You're gonna... But you don't want this outside forces also fucking up. Right, right. You know what I mean? Right. So then you have to make some hard choice between this person you love that you're responsible for uh-huh. and this other person that you would love dearly. Uh-huh. It's a hard choice. It's difficult. I would suggest therapy. Uh, do we honestly, know? Yeah. Do we know if we think the mother is an alcoholic or is she just going through something? That's the kind of the tough part. And it's like, yeah. yeah, you can't convince somebody that they have a problem. Yeah, you have to. W- it is tough waiting for somebody to hit rock bottom. You know, if that's what you're waiting God. for, I got a family member I'm waiting for in here. It's like, what can you do? You can only do so I've, much. I've and dealt, you talk I've to him and shit. Yeah, you talk to him, but then sometimes people get in such a bad way they lash out at you all the yeah, time yeah, for yeah, no yeah. reason. Yeah. Where it's like you can't even really talk to them. Yeah. Because at that point, yeah, you're just kind of supporting them yeah. in these really bad yeah. spaces. It's and, and you're not even talking to them. Right. You know what I mean? It's right. like they're sleepwalking. And, and they've been just, gone sometimes for years, yeah, the actual person yeah, you knew. Yeah. Well, the, another thing that's super difficult to deal with when you're dealing with an alcoholic is, is that you have to be so patient. Because if you say somebody's drunk and they fuck up and they do some shit, you can't immediately be like, yo, you know, you, you're doing this I thing. Because they can't even they, they, they can't even understand. I know, I know. So you got to wait a week until maybe they're sober. And yeah. then you got to be like, hey, you know, this happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Yeah. And so at a certain point, you got to go, like your situation you're in, you're like, I don't have time for this because I have my kid that I got to mm. keep safe. And so this guy, my suggestion is like, you you may not be able to save this money. Yeah. You need you need to take your woman and you need to get your own place because you are now making yourself unhappy. You're watching this thing happen to your mom and you can't do anything about it. And so you need to have a comfortable space of your own so you can escape to that that is yours that you have control of because it's just going to drive you crazy. Yeah. And you know, and then it's probably hard to leave because then you don't want to be like away from it. Maybe in yeah. a way, I don't know. I don't know but how that's far you, away that, they that's would what I'm live. saying. There's no right or wrong way because then yeah. you end up yeah. then you end up enabling the behavior and I've been in this situation my per- the person that's in my life is now finally in a good rehab got their life together yeah. but it's like but it took me having to be like but that's the hardest thing to do it's mm-hmm. easy to say but hard to do and you don't notice it until you're out of it uh-huh. where you go damn I should have done that before but I didn't have it in me to do it yeah and that's the position he's in right now he, he don't have it in him to do it yeah mm. Man, it's tough. I, I feel for your mother, man. And I yeah, I, I, it's tough to know what to suggest. You know, you could all try to take her to a meeting or introduce her to somebody that knows about going to meetings. 
but it's hard to yeah it's hard to convince somebody if they're not trying to convince themselves yeah you know? and some people don't always like just fuck up where they hit a bottom like if his mom's retired she could drink at home every night and really nothing would happen right and it right. would just be like this slow burn. right right so right. he might have to say like if he doesn't like the drinking like you can't see the kids unless you're yeah sober. Like, right because right. otherwise yeah. she i don't know she could drink forever right or and she could it could be stressed that they're there who know it also there could be other things to it i don't know it's hard to know what's going on we're sitting well, one here. thing we do know is this guy doesn't like it right mm -hmm. So if he don't like it, you need to change your situation. That's a great point. There you go. That's and a that's great point. That's good advice. And anyway. Hold on a second. Yeah, we got real serious. I don't yeah, know I know. I, anyway, <laughs> anyway, I have tour dates, chrysalia.com. Yeah, just a second. Hold on yeah. a second. Chris, I got one of your 17, 30% <laughs> yeah, on the I phone. He's, 17, like, yeah, he's crying again. Talk to him later. He's fucking crying on the podcast again. What are we going to do? <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? This Portnoy. Portnoy. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to go back to back, but another... Heavy oh, issue. Oh, fuck fuck it. Right? Who's making this All shit? Right. Me? I thought we fired this guy already. We, we tried. Guys, this is uh, Jaron from Phoenix, and I got a king of sting it for you. Me on his Sunglasses shirt. Sunglasses inside. Uh, Chris, I was at your show last night in Phoenix, and nice. uh, sitting directly across from me was some dude in the front row wearing sunglasses. Probably gacked out of his mind on cocaine, but Probably. it is what it is. So I just wanted to get your guys' opinion on that. Um, yeah. Nick? Theo? I know you love video or fucking driving submissions, so I thought I'd hop in my golf cart to get a little extra credit here. This guy's so Phoenix. Let me know, guys. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz, sore. The Phoenix gang, shows baby. were fucking awesome. I love this guy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think doing the cocaine, man, I remember getting all coked out one time and going to um, Dodgers game, and I thought every Mexican guy there was trying to fight me or stab me. And I remember thinking that for like 20 minutes, and I was so paranoid and shit. And you then were I, coked up? Oh, yeah. And I remember asking my friend, I'm like, dude, I think every, and I don't want to say Mexican guy, but it was Mexican guys. Mm. It was like 30,000 Mexican guys in the upper deck. Mm. I was like, I feel like every Mexican dude here wants to fucking fight me or stab me. And the guy's like, dude, everybody's been yelling that they're going to fight us or fucking stab us. Mm. I was like, was he on Coke too? Huh? Oh, he was on a little bit. Okay, so okay, maybe it was so a coke that's thing. Not it was a good the coke. Source. It could have been the coke. Yeah, it could have been the coke. <laughs> but he yeah. is way smarter than me, my buddy. I don't think he was here. I mean, he was some. I think. Were they going to fight you because you were wearing sunglasses? I think somebody was trying to hurt us. Yeah, but that's outside. Outside, right, right, yeah, right. This guy's talking about sunglasses. Oh, sunglasses inside. oh my bad, my bad. It's okay <laughs> if you're playing a character, like, or if you're on a podcast and shit, like being silly, I think. Yeah. Inside, though, if you're going to grab a coffee and you're just sitting there quick and you drink it, that's fine. Yeah. But if you're at like a fucking meeting or something, yeah. or at a show, yeah. I mean, maybe, you know, you understand Jack Nicholson and the fucking Lakers games and shit. That's fine because it's bright and he's also 80. Yeah. I think you're being a little defensive about sunglasses inside. I don't think that you should, I think there are times you can do it. If you're 75 or above in the, at a fucking basketball game in the front row and you're yeah, rich, those are, the ones that like, those are the ones that cover your whole, you know what I mean? If you're no, 75 not for Jack Nicholson. or above, if you're even alive, you should have on sunglasses. Well, you should, you get to do with a lot. You can then, then you get to put on a fedora. You know what I mean? It's this kind of shit. It's a wrap at that point. Right. You can do whatever you want. Show up in a fucking nightgown. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Theo is two weeks away but, from a fedora. But if you're 30 and you're at a basketball game or you're sitting at a meeting with sunglasses on, that's awful for you. That's awful for you. It yeah. depends on where the meeting is. If the meeting is in a bright spot or if somebody's parking their truck right in front of the meeting and they forgot to turn their headlights off, or if you guys are what? dealing, if somebody, if you just had an optical surgery. Sure, yes, there's always exceptions. Though. Okay. Come on, dude. But well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just give this guy a chance. What's his problem? <laughs> Wow, look at Jack Nicholson. And why okay. is this guy ratting out some other dude that's at the show? To well, be he wasn't honest? specific. It's okay. Oh, that's what Jack Nicholson was at the I don't give a fuck stage. Yeah. But I still fuck. Wow, look at that, huh? Unreal. Yeah. He looks like a po' boy sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Chris, I know, yeah. you're, I know you're a big NBA fan. Yeah, you're a big sports guy. But here's the deal, though. I'm a fan <laughs> of things, and I like things, and this is a thing. And then also betting, I'm in. Because you, to, in order to get things, you'd need money. And if you like basketball and you want to make money, you got to use DraftKings Sportsbooks, the official sports betting part of the NBA. This week, new customers can bet just $5 on any team. So, okay, so if you can bet $5, what are you going to win? You're going to win $6? Dude. <laughs> 
Dude, <laughs> what? You bet five dollars on any no, team dude, to win, ten dollars, one hundred and fifty dollars in free bets. Yo, what? Nutsos. <laughs> they got parlays. From DraftKings. <laughs> yeah, dude, and you got DraftKings. What? This is a de- this is a steal, dude. It's nuts. And okay, you're, well, if you're, you're looking excited. to turn, so if you're telling me if you're looking to turn a small bet into a big payday during the NBA playoffs, you can do that with DraftKings. Yep, dude. Same and game parlays. Yes. You can just do ju- just that. Just that. Create your own parlay by combining multiple bets, like. Which team will win? Total threes made, total rebounds, and more. And boom, you have a shot at an even bigger payout. Right now, all customers can place the same game parlay with three or more legs and get a free bet back up to $25 if one leg doesn't hit. Wow. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. Use promo code KATS. Cats. That's $5 on any NBA team to win their what, game. What do you mean, like six bucks or what? Dude, and get $150 in free bets if they what? do. What? <laughs> 150 I like your excitement. Okay. Too. Yeah. 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 That's promo code KATS only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Minimum age eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. See next page for directions for disclaimer. Guys, let's take a break. Let's take a break, dude. Okay. I want to talk to you about HelloFresh. Hello, Fresh. Hello okay? Fresh. Dude, you get farm fresh pre portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. It's like it's like you're getting the best of the restaurant world and the home world at home. Skip trips to the grocery store. Count on HelloFresh to make home cooking. It's home cooking easy. Yeah, right? but is it really expensive? Because, dude, I'm stressed. Dude, it's insane. It's so cheap, it's ridiculous. It's even cheaper than the grocery store. What's up? That's money in your pocket. So you can buy Thick Boy merch and all that stuff and tickets to all our shows and like they Philadelphia. Have Mediterranean recipes. Dude. Oh, um, dude, have you ever had Mediterranean food? Seriously? Of and HelloFresh nails it. I've had it. It's crazy. Dude, they've got so many things. They've got. Uh, chefs that really know how to they they, they diversify your dinner menu Dude, right with seasonal spring recipes with tempura bowls garden spinach ricotta ravioli one pot creamy lemon lemon or, ricotta, uh, dill chicken pancakes it, yeah forget it wow dude over 50 different weekly options you never get bored whatever diet you're on they got you covered go to hellofresh.com slash king 16 use the code king 16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts that is HelloFresh.com slash King16. Use the code King16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. And let me tell you one thing, America's too. number one meal kit, guys. It is. But, and let me tell you an, a, another reason why this is good that people don't really think of because you just think of, oh, it's tasty and, oh, it's good, which it is. It is very tasty and good. But, dude, it saves you time. And time <laughs> is... Money. It's money, dude. And, and well, here he is. Yeah, here he is younger. Up. Here he is younger. <laughs> Here he is after that Peloton. I guess you have to have a beard to send in a video, I guess. Huh? Yeah. What up, King of the Sting in the Wing? This is Brian from New Jersey. Gang, and I've baby. I've got a King of the Sting it for you boys. Drinking your significant other's blood like MGK and Megan Fox. Okay. I personally am not down for that. I'm getting married in a month, and if that was a requirement, I'm not sure I'd be able to go through with it. So I want to hear what you boys think about that. Let me know. Love the show. Gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. Soar. Nice. In Egypt and a lot of countries, they do, and tribal countries also, they do a lot of that. They do the drinking of the blood. You swap the blood out. Mm. Uh, people sip it out of a like a little uh, goblet. It's unhygienic, huh? I don't know where those two have been either. I don't know what their situation Bad is. Bad news. Yeah. They're 40. She's yeah. 40, right? Yeah. Like, you're going to drink a 40-year-old's blood? What about fucking like 25? You know what I mean? That person's been around. That blood's gross, dude. Yeah. And MGK looks like At a twink a that 30, came back to like, being straight. But drinking MGK's blood, I get it. He's like, you know, what is he, 28, 29? Yeah. Is he? I think so. 31? Yeah, but he's also a- t- Oh, really? He's also a touring like artist, so he's just as dirty as- gross blood, yeah. But this <laughs> tells me that you guys have never, you know- Maybe went down and licked your girl's pussy when she was on her period. Oh my! I've never done that, no. <laughs> dude. What okay. are you? <laughs> well, are you some kind Jen. of? What, man? You've is, been there. Is this not the? I, <laughs> I, thought, I, I didn't know this was the Patreon episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable! What this? He, are, are you? He what? comes out red as shit. Yeah, you've never. You come out red I'm as not shit. You down there like? Oh, oh, oh. You yeah, come out like you Iron are, bro. Man. You may get a little. You know. He puts the head. What did, what did you say? A fight club. You could drink a pint of blood before you get sick. So you. Well, I, yeah, no, I don't think going down on someone when they're bleeding, that oh, that's very... Yeah. It's very Roman, I feel like. It's yeah. very... Um, yeah, well, you're pretty stationary, Roman. <laughs> we got to we gotta hit the... You got to hit the groaner sometimes, bro. You got to hit the groaner sometimes. Can we get like sometimes. a graphic that goes, oof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, 
I know, but <laughs> look, man, what is the guy's? What did he say about it? Yeah, you, he's just like, should you drink other people's blood? Is it cool? It's something. It's, it's honestly, a sting, it's just, obviously, it's a sting for it's all of us. It's, it's you know, nobody drinks other people's blood and people doesn't on tell purpose, people about it. It's, it's all pre pretense. Hey, I drank her blood, bro. I'm fucking badass. All I'm saying is, you've never like, maybe not on purpose, but I've. This has happened to me. I, you know. I've had okay, ex. well, that's different. I'm down there, and I'm like, you know, oh, I had a finger in. That's different. Don't do the thing with your out. tongue. That's disgusting. <laughs> but yeah. What's wrong oh, with you, shit. bro? Oh, disgusting. Period, huh? Disgusting. Yeah. What's wrong with you, dog? <laughs> you don't go. Blah, 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 you know what I mean? <laughs> Damn, dog. <laughs> you gotta make noises. You gotta because the the the, the, the the buzzing noise helps yeah, yeah, yeah. to. You know what I mean? I don't. When you don't make any noises when you eat your girl's pussy. When you just down there like. I go like this. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, that oh was... interesting. While you're well, I'll I play don't. hold music on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> you you play now Theo, do you <laughs> hold it up like this while you're down there like this? Yeah. <laughs> God, man. And then in the middle of it it's like, thank you for holding. This is Jen from IKEA. <laughs> oh, just you go, just a second, honey. Yeah, I ordered a uh <laughs> Put me back I on hold. A crack put, pot. put me back on hold. She's almost done. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I think, but it, I will say this. And there were times when it was a rite of passage. If you got married, you took a sip out yeah, of okay, each other's cool. blood. It was a, it was like a thing. I'm going to take this person into my body. I'm going to take in this Arkansas? person. In Arkansas? Mm -hmm. Huh? And look it up. Drink it up. You guys have 80s. 70 computers in over there. I just looked it up. It said there's thousands of people in the U.S. that drink each other's blood. There you that go. means it's yeah. not good. Thousands? That's thousands. Not yeah. Yeah. Talk to me when it's a million. <laughs> well, it's pretense shit. It's a lot. Thousands is a lot. Of, if there were thousands of people in here, we couldn't even close the door. <laughs> Small room. Yeah. This. Why would you have a thousand people come here? All right. It, what's this guy got? What a weird bed right setup. Out. Why does he have a bed and oh, then a bed on the floor? Look like every other ski bag on here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. What do you have, Fives? Is that Pete Davidson? My name's Tyler, and I'm enough years old. I'm from Newfoundland, and I got a king or sing it. Hometown traditions. Um, when you visit Newfoundland for the first time, uh, you gotta get screeched in. It's it's customary. Um, this is where like an old man in a yellow raincoat presents you a shot of uh, screech and a uh, frozen fish, um, and you gotta kiss it on the lips. Uh, I know it sounds bad, but you know you're kind of a bitch if you don't do it. Um, yeah, king it or sting it or wing it. Uh, shout out to uh, Chris though. Um, next time at the log cabin meeting, can I open up with my hot five? I got a really good five minutes. Thanks. Uh, I don't understand. I don't know what fuck, fuck what, he just what said. Is what the fuck did he just what, say? He, he is this guy with fish? UPS? Yeah. This guy's giving him a fish, and, and, and he's got a bed on the side of his bed, which and is he, weird. And he has like a, like glasses of a 78-year-old man. I, I don't. He, so a guy yeah. gave him a fish in Newfound, Newfoundland? It's kind of getting it's screeched, screeched in. in. Oh. Uh, you have to watch uh, Saved by the Bell. <laughs> like the first season of Saved by the Bell is how you get screeched in. Oh, oh. And then, <laughs> right? So hey, this, I can't have a groaner? Fuck all y'all. No, you have a groaner. It's nice. <laughs> well, look, the thing is, the man said you got to kiss the fish to get into the town or something. So, so we're going back to eating pussy. I get it. Oh, oh. God. There's two groaners. <laughs> I think that is this? Woo! Getting That's what screeched when you're in, in front of the wing sign. Let me tell you something. Right? Name? What is going no, on? No, let me here? tell you something right now. Any tradition is bad. You know how many -uh. fucking no. You know how many fucking wars have started just because of tradition? Tradition is always bad. No. -uh. Cuz times change. Here 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 yeah, this but you this sounds very anti-religion again. Bro. Here we no, go. No, you can have a tradition for 5 years and then make a new tradition because of times change. No, but times change no matter what. They don't have nothing to do with it. Think about it. Think about all the traditions you would miss out on, dude. Um, having slaves go ahead yeah. <laughs> a traditional pastime Easter, of having yeah. Halloween. Mm -hmm. You Christmas. know, go into the mall when you're a teenager. Yeah, but that's not a tradition. <laughs> um, having a picnic with your family. That's just shit people do. That's a chicken cue. Yeah. Not uh, square dancing class when you're in high school. <laughs> Don't, I, not in this Wisconsin Chicken cue? Yeah, what's a chicken cue? Can you Don't look know. it up? Uh, it'd be like, uh, it was a fundraiser and they would just smoke a ton of chicken and you'd get like a $7 plate that had be baked beans and smoked chicken and the money would go to the church. <laughs> Chicken cube. <sighs> okay. <laughs> These like, are all bad traditions. Yeah, like yeah, Sunday yeah. brunch. Should I mean, Halloween's a over? holiday. No, no, no. <laughs> Halloween's a holiday. Fucking Christmas is a holiday. Sure, it's but a those tradition. Are I understand. Dude. But like when you're, Asian traditions. But when you're talking about yeah. kissing fish to fucking indoctrinate someone in Newfoundland, that's fucking horseshit. But welcome to town, bub. This no, is I what don't... everybody else has done to be in town. Well, how about just say welcome to town? That's fine. <laughs> 
The tradition of talking, greeting someone is good. Welcome to town. Thank you very much. I'm now part of this town. That's a whole tradition. Bring a bagpipe, whatever, but that's fucking too much. But a bagpipe would be a tradition. I that's mean, what I'm saying. Got You're him. making new traditions, Chris. I don't know. You don't like the joy of it, you think? No, I don't the like the novelty? joy of kissing a fish. A dead fish. Well, it's not about the fish so much as it's about the tradition. Right. The tradition is kissing the dead fish. No, but the, the tradition really just represents mm -hmm. the camaraderie of that town. Mm -hmm. No matter what it if is. If that town doesn't have camaraderie without kissing a fish, <laughs> I'm out the town, dude. Some families have tradition, you know? There's a lot of different families that have different tradition, what they wear. Different, yeah, don't your like, family have traditions? Mine? Yeah. yeah. They're so annoying. Yeah. My dad's like, like every every Christmas uh Every Christmas night, we read that fucking one where the kid's on the train and can't hear the bell. Oh, Polar Express. Express. And I'm like, dude, I'm 40 now. <laughs> that was awesome up until I was 12. Yeah. And I I, was... he still wants to do it. Yeah. Your dad? Come on. I thought you I know. When was... I'm 75, dude, and Calvin's that age, I'm going to be wanting to be do doing that, too. It. I know. I get it. It's going to be he'll for me. It's long, for him. You know what I just realized? He'll have it's long, dumb hair, too. It's for him. Because <laughs> tradition, if tradition, yeah, man, mm. I think you got to have some good traditions. All right, well. Wait, do we have any King and a Sting traditions? Mm -mm. No. Yeah, you do. You have like the freaking. Just being here. No, you there's white other. White elephant gift swap. Yeah, you, oh, do. Yeah. you have a bunch of traditions you do here. Mm. That's true. We have white elephant gift swap. We used to have these buzzers. We're kind of a thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dress up on Halloween. Yeah. Tradition. Yeah. And Christmas. Dress Leo up. Gives merch for people's birthdays. Boom. Yeah. Joint birthdays. Yeah. So? Being here. Being traditions, Chris. Good. Eating hot food. Eating hot eating food, hot food right? is oh, definitely yeah. not a tradition. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, eating. super, super spicy food. <laughs> yeah. This guy's got one. Can you, turn the, can you turn the light down? We can still see him. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening, guys? Uh, it's Ander from Glasgow. Glasgow. Glasgow! Wow. I'm just you know traveling home from work. I am a sober DJ in the city center because I can't be fucking trusted to enjoy myself. <laughs> um, I'm just wanting to get your uh, opinion on DJing as a job. Is it a real and respectable job or not? I'm not all that sure that it is. <laughs> I like the cash. Uh, yeah, King's thing or wing it. Not sure what uh, wing it is, but we'll go for it. Yeah, gang gang, buzz buzz, soar. <laughs> Wait, wait, I like how he didn't have an accent when he said that. Sure. Yeah, it's kind of like Asian people at a karaoke yeah. place. <laughs> yeah. If he's, you know what I mean? Yeah. Where that and start the fire. No, but it's like they sing in like perfect English. But yeah, then yeah. Like when they talk, you don't know what's going on. That's because yeah. he hears us say it and he's just imitating us saying it. Oh. Yep. But DJing is a real job if podcasting is a real job. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, there's different levels of DJing and t difficult difficulty of DJing. You know, there's yeah. some guys that are out there fucking actually doing the shit. And then somebody's out there that go, boom, all right, let's do this. And yeah. just let the shit play. Yeah, they're doing this. Right. And that's a kind of a party <laughs> guy. But, yeah, but like, they, they make the most no, money. No, they make money. If, if you're fucking willing to pay, you know what I mean? What's the guy? What's, what's, the, what's one of those guys? Steve Aoki. Yeah. Steve Aoki, Diplo. They make music, though. Diplo right, right. makes They're music and shit. Yeah. yeah, but that's not the point. Right. That's the, Just like you do comedy, that has nothing to do with the podcast. So he, is he talking about, about right, true, okay. So is he talking about like uh, Being DJs a DJ. at, a, at, a, at a bar mitzvah? Oh, that's, yeah. that's different. That's a real job. It's a though. job, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Look, man, I'll tell you this. We had a fellow in our town named John was his name, and he was the DJ, dude. There's Diplo right there on this past weekend, if you ever enjoy that beautiful show. But what I'm saying is we had a fellow named John was his name. John. John mm. L. Mm -hmm. And he was our DJ. He DJed it all. Mm. Wedding, funeral, mm. school dance, mm. high school dance. Mm. Um, well, that's only because everything else. was at the same building. So, Well, whatever he did, he was the man, right? So he became like this kind of like, uh, he almost became an encyclopedia of things that had happened in the mm. town, you oh. know? The local so there was legend. a lot of value in that, you know? Because you'd be right. like, oh, play the song you played it, this thing, and yeah, play yeah, that, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. And so he kind of was this community. A yeah, this yeah. music man. Okay. And uh, and he also was dating half the girls that were at all the events. DJs you know? are swimming it, right? They swim in oh. it, dude. DJs just swim in it. They're the new. But when was this? This was, let me see, probably 90s. Imagine that guy now. He'd be dead. I mean, he'd be dead. If he was doing it, if he was swimming back then, he'd be swimming now. He'd be, he would drown, dude. There's, yeah. I mean, DJs get, I mean. It was John L's Loud that Music. That was his company. John L's Loud Music? <laughs> yep. LLC. <laughs> <laughs> is that a groaner or is that real? It's just, that's just, we call that a Theo. Oh, that's a, I mean, I went to probably 60 dances that he did. 
60? Tootsie wow. roll. Yeah, son. I fucking went to what, what was your go-to move when you're out on the dance floor? Oh, my thing would be, oh, uh, Leaving. close your eyes. I got you something if I was dancing. Oh, dance or hit yeah, on a girl? dance. What was your dance? Uh, what would you do out there? Well, what the was it? Close your eyes. I got you something. Uh, that, was, <laughs> that was for the girls. Yeah, I would say close your that's, eyes. That I got you something. That sounds very creepy. Close your eyes. You put you, you put your what? dick in their mouth. No, like what do you do? You're disgusting, dude. Okay, but that's, you made it sound. I like. would say put your hand out. And then yeah. you put and your then, dick in your hand, huh? Then you put your dick no. in their hand. Okay. Then I would give them a little smooch on them. So no, yeah. So you're fucking a sleeping smooch on beauty. the hand. On the uh, face, on the. Uh, 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 so you say, close your eyes <laughs> and get an unconsensual kiss from me. Yeah, put your ha- hand out. It wasn't mm-hmm. a. Gr- it was if you knew there was. Yeah, some- it was a pack, right? There was yeah. an understanding. Yeah. 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 Till later, she was like, and then he kissed me, and right, I didn't right, even ask right. him. Yeah, and if something my girl would be like, hey, uh, yeah, I'm not. That's not my vibe. I want to know what I want to know what off. how you mm. danced. What was your dance move? Oh, I did a lot of different type of uh, James Brown type of stuff. I was more like hips and legs. Oh wow, you know? really? That oh, TikTok, wow. a little bit of that Elvis Presley. Okay. I use my whole body. What about you? I was, you know. Yeah. Smooth. Oh, you was that tight Already smooth, doing the old huh? black guy dance. I mean, yeah. yeah. Already doing the old black guy dance. <laughs> okay. What a minute. Oh, yep. I'm still And they would look at you and they'd be like, well, you're going to live a long time because I can imagine you doing that as an <laughs> yeah, older guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that dance yeah, don't die sure. young. It don't baby. die, yeah. baby. Man, and we had square dancing too, I remember, in uh, oh, school. Oh, brother. We had to take square dance in class. That was part of your electorate? No, it was just part of growing up. I think there was three years of square dancing. Mm. Did you guys have it? Square dancing, no. no you took of three not. years of square dancing at high school? No. It's pretty think... much a year and you know it, you know? You it don't was... need three. <laughs> so it's just, I'm in square dancing AP. <laughs> well, if you were on the swarm team, we had they had like a- The, the who uh, team? It was swarm. It was like square dancing swarm. It was like the, like the DeAndre, High, you know, without the drugs or somebody. It was like the- you know, Willie Galtz of square dance, and it was people that could square dance. Like that could the really best. square, like a job. That's their job, or they go, they win. It oh, was they, the best. They of could them, be a reality they show about it. But they had square. Dance. I mean, we had be. three. So yeah, we had three, three years. We had to do square dancing. You know, I think really? we had to do it. Yeah. Jesus Jeez. Christ! It was an elective, right? I mean, it wasn't like no. Math, it was like so, English, so instead of PE, square dancing, no, it was, square it was dancing. PE, and it was twice a week, and we had square dancing. Oh, okay. Well, PE. Oh, well, okay, sense. at least it's active. But that's yeah. hilarious. What yeah. the music just. Like the real square dancing. Shit? I like, think it was. Bring your partner you around, around and around, pull out your dick and stick it. What, we can't. We can't. Can. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, oh, yeah it was like. Uh, well, they had the caller, you know, and sometimes right, so they would saying. even get a call, like on certain holiday or around holiday in spring, especially to get a caller and they're a real caller. Ooh, so like, so you, I wonder if that's still a thing. Is that like being a DJ, a square dance caller? I don't know. Hmm. It's probably like an original DJ. Yeah. I like it. Hmm. Yes, that's it. <laughs> and sometimes that's you would get sure. crossed up finally with a girl you liked and you were just so excited. Mm. And you had to go get some water. That's <laughs> nice. Why? Because you were nervous? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, why not? What else? you think it would be just... Th- I wouldn't miss a woman because of sheer thirst, baby. Nerves. <laughs> God, I remember that. This guy's got one. Okay. <sighs> What's up, guys? I'm Joe from Indianapolis. Big fan of you all. I have a king it or sting it Amen, brother. for you. Um, inspired by a friend of mine who may be a bigger fan than me. Hit me up to all you guys. Loves all you guys. Pray, so baby. much that his girlfriend, now wife, thought he was the funniest guy in the world until she started listening to your podcast and realized that's where all the jokes come from. <laughs> me? Um, but Me. This is something he does that I make fun of him for all the time. I think it's the girliest shit in the world. It's crossing your legs above your knee. Oh. No, that's, they got to do that. That's king shit. That's king shit. There's actually footage of the uh, Burger King guy doing it. That's king shit. But to do that shit, to be so comfortable like this, that's king a, shit, dude. He's not a real king, though, the Burger King guy. But if you do this. It's just a title. If you do this, some people, this is the crazy thing that I see, is when people do this, like they do music like a cricket. Like on the couch or just up suspended in air? Just like this. They just sit like that. Can you believe a cricket does this? This is, think how crazy they are. Yeah. (laughs) Is that mating shit? Yeah. That's what makes that noise, right? Imagine you just, yeah. Yeah, they're playing basically back that thing up every time they do it. So who does that kind of shit? It's magic, man. It's 
They get they spin that cat, yeah, on the bed, yeah. <laughs> Back that like thing dog, up. Yeah. <laughs> on the ball, yeah. Right, that's a cricket DJ like right a here. Yeah. That's a cricket DJ right here. <laughs> Are you ready to get this party started? Made him one at Tonte, can they want it? Can they want it? Yeah, that has to be the picture for the episode. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. So, but that's crazy to have your own music, your own. You're the DJ right there, and it's in your quads. That's nice. So you, Eric, that's like Eric when he drives home, just singing the shit. You sing shit by yeah. yourself, yeah. That's oh, how yeah. it sounds. I have I play karaoke in my car. Pretty lit, actually. <laughs> you know, yep. on, on the screen, the words come up. You know yep. what I mean? And I'm just like, unbreak my heart, <laughs> say you love me again. <laughs> just fucking undry these tears. <laughs> Here's what I will say to this man: is uh, I think it's okay to put your legs like that. I used to. I think I had to sit a certain comfortable way, mm -hmm. you know. This and is it's, better for your back when you. It's silly. It? Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Like yeah. I remember when I was like sixteen, I would just sit like this. You know, I thought that that's how just guys are it's supposed to sit. It's good to sit up straight, though. You know, not yeah, like that. Yeah, but not like you're trying to fight yeah, everybody. Yeah. Like Theo sits yeah. like this all the time. What bitch? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what fool? <laughs> Something, motherfucker. <laughs> what fool? Yeah. <laughs> you you just stay ready. <laughs> What'd you say about whites? <laughs> <laughs> but oh man, y'all yeah, wilding but... out, bro. <laughs> Y'all wild and white people what? <laughs> but you got to do the, this or sit up straight or dude fucking rock it, man. Because that shows you're comfortable enough to be like, yeah, I know people think that when you sit like this, you got a small dick, but I don't have a small dick, dude. Yeah, but when this you sit like I this, sit, it feels like you're about to say something poignant, you know? Well, that's when you sit like this and you go, say some poignant you know, shit. You can't do, you have, I don't you think. You have your hands here. That's what you can't do, I don't think. Yeah. Oh, I like it. I will yeah. sit like this all day long. I yeah, watch this a sporting. Is it. You have your hands here, then you go. I watch a sporting event. Uh, this is this is. You guys have seen this. This is therapy shit. Mm, yes. Know? The therapist goes like this. So Chris, tell us. Tell us about your day. Tell or us then, about why you whatever. Or right? then you go like this, and a bird comes and lands on your finger. That's what this. That's feels king like. shit. That's yes. king shit. That Imagine goes a long way like, from that, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, it goes a long way from that. But yeah, I think give your guy, uh, don't give him a hard time because I've even seen people that don't have any legs and they will take one of their prosthetic legs and put it up on the other one like mm, that. Wow. That's a bit. That's, you hang around with a lot of like. Amputees, really, yeah. just to be honest. Yeah. That's in his cult right there. Amps, they right. call them first of all. and uh, They call them amps. A lot of amputees do. What up, amps? Fellow amp? amps. Fellow amps. Where right. my amps at? That's not a slur. <laughs> it will be. It will it be. Is. It yeah. will be. It will be. Huh? It will be. Yeah. <laughs> what up, my amps? <laughs> they don't clap because they have no hands. <laughs> <laughs> Are y'all out here? Let me know y'all here. Let me know y'all just going like this. <laughs> where, where, where are my amps at? I'm just going to trust you're here. <laughs> I don't hear anything, but now that I realize what I asked, I'm just going to trust that you're all here. Let's get down to business. Yeah, maybe you're the, one guy that, you're the one guy out there. that you, You're like... Yeah. <laughs> uh, Oh, <laughs> or the one guy just wearing my amps. He's going out one hand. <laughs> how crazy! He slaps himself. He gotta yeah. go like this, Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, we're terrible. We're going yeah, to hell. Wow, right. Right. I'm not. Hey guys, I'm a big fan, especially of Theo Vaughn and Chris D'Elia. Nice. Um, I was just Damn. wondering, Eric's feelings what hurt. you guys think <laughs> just of smoking on your lunch break? King it or sting it? Okay. I do live in an illegal state, but. I be working with dogs. They be irritating the shit out of me. I'm Amen. not going to lie. I don't think I could make it through the day without it. Smoking, uh, yeah. I just wanted your guys' opinions. Well, what do you mean illegal? Gang, gang, buzz, buzz, sore. Nice. Smoking inside. Oh, she's oh talking and about it's illegal. Puff, it. Here's the thing. If oh, there was oh, 20, oh, she's talking about weed. Got if it. there was 20 people here, yeah. then you could call out two. Okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. You but know what I'm saying? Yes. Okay, you, you can call out too. But when it's only four, yeah. and three regular hosts, and then yeah. like I don't even know what, you know, you don't call out too. But but just in, <laughs> in, your, in her defense and your defense, she did not know you're here. Yeah. So maybe she's like, I would have said Eric, but I don't even know if he's there. Maybe she just fucking hates Brendan. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just trying to help you. He's not here. He probably won't listen to this, so. <laughs> she, she really just said, fuck you, Brandon. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what she just said. Um, I don't know, dude. Uh, uh, yeah, I think uh, I, I think it's stupid that weed is really illegal anywhere. You know, and if you're going to be responsible about it, she looks like she's responsible. You just do it on your smoke break. I mean, that being said, if you do work at a company, the company doesn't want you high. So right. it might be legal to do. Or it might be illegal to do. I think that that's stupid. You should still do it anyway because it's just weed. But mm -hmm. if you're at work, it's a little fucking, as Brendan would say, dicey because you wouldn't necessarily want to. Well, by the way, too, it's like when you're at a casino and they allow smoking. Yeah. I fucking hate that. 
Like yeah. not everybody well, smokes. Well, because they don't want you to go outside. That's why. I know. Yeah. But it's like, you know what I always do at the, around my crap table and mm. people are smoking? I fart. <laughs> I'm ta- oh, dude! I'm talking about this. I'm talking about like I, I'm, I'm talking about I push oh, yeah. one out. Dude. I want them to hear. Just shit. And, shit I want, and I want motherfuckers to look at me like, did you just fart? <laughs> yeah, bitch. Because y'all smoking. Yeah. So how, how about saying, smell baby. that? Smell lucky. this. You're lucky I didn't shit. You're yeah, lucky. That's God's cigarette, baby. Yeah, that that's fart. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's dude, my, that's great. That's my man. ass pipe. That's yeah. great. <laughs> right? That's great, dude. Yeah. You know what, dude? You're one of my guys. That's fucking huge, man. So someone smoke. And you just yeah. Now we're even. Yeah, right. Yeah, so yeah. there's a level playing field. Yeah, yeah. You don't Great. like that smell? Yep. That's what I don't like. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. And my fart ain't gonna cause cancer. There's no such there's no no, no such thing as called right, secondhand right. fart. Yeah. Nobody ever talks about secondhand fart. Right. Which is the only yeah. Which is I think it's ve- people get secondhand fart all the time because that's how people know somebody farted. <laughs> right. But there's mm. no like. Is it causing? It, look it up. Secondhand farting. Information team. There'll be a commercial in a few years. <laughs> Research my, team. Uh, my husband died of secondhand <laughs> farting. I will be. I left it under the sheets. Every morning he would get up and Dutch oven his ass, and now he's not around. But there's like a class action lawsuit in 20 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you have you been farted yeah. near? Yeah. And now she farts out of the side of her fucking because it she had the surgery, bro. The colostomy bag. The, no, oh. she farts out the side. You know how people smoke out of the fucking right, right. She yeah. farts. She shits out of the side like a colostomy bag. And her bag, voice bro. still goes. We're I don't know why I'm talking like this. <laughs> do y'all do farts in y'all's marriage or not? Oh yeah, I fart. Oh, yeah. What are you talking about? I fart. No, the problem is that she farts. That's the problem. You think that's a problem? Yeah, when you get close to a girl. Mm, it's not good when a girl farts. When a guy farts, it's manly. When a girl farts, it's manly. Yeah. So it's a bit, yeah. yeah. It's it's disconcerting. Um, wait, wait. Didn't that say secondhand fart smell could be good for you? Yeah. It All could right, uh, so provide some health benefits. So I'm helping you, motherfucker. Oh, yeah, Prevent heart you're, disease you're and kidney failure. But damn, yeah. the man said, uh, what is he saying? The cigarette smoke? Was the guy saying? No, she was saying that uh, smoking weed on your lunch. Smoking weed on your lunch. Oh, look! First of all, a lunch. Yeah, if lunch might for some people, weed is lunch. They don't even eat. All they do is smoke weed, and they're gonna mm. probably die soon. Mm. So some people they want to just smoke, man. Mm. They want to just get that that bronchial brunch, baby. Mm. That lunch for your lungs, son. That's what they want. That weed. <laughs> Bronchial brunch. <laughs> no. That's got to be the name of your weed company. You'll see some brothers yeah. just have a fucking joint for breakfast, bro, and they fucking roll on and they said, I'm I know, full. But the, skinny but dudes. The, but the yeah. thing, some skinny dudes do that, don't yeah, they? Bro. Yeah, bro. But the thing is, it's where you do it. Like, you don't be I'm doing so smoke and shit where other people are there. Yeah. Not everybody's in but the weed. But I think weed. she's just talking about doing it at lunch and then going back to work high. And you do, gotta be wild. You? But you gotta right. be wild if you're working around a bunch of dogs, secondhand dogs, thirdhand dogs. She works with dogs? To be yeah. getting high and going around a bunch of... It depends on where you are. If you're in like, uh, you know, Narragansett or somewhere, where that might be place. safer. Made but if you're in want... Memphis and you at the damn dog kennel, I don't right, know if I'd right, be getting right, gassed right. up and no, rolling up. Check this out. One time, one time I would like a video submission of like, it's like her boss. Yeah. And she's like, hey, yeah, I'm a fan of King and the Sting and I saw one of my employees yeah. is getting high that would be at awesome. lunch. Yeah, so I fired her. <laughs> so right. this is just like a, a cautionary tale for people out there sending in submissions of yeah. like drinking and driving. Right, <laughs> right, 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 right. You know what I mean? Like Drinking people's blood. <laughs> drinking people's blood. Maybe we need don't a PS- fucking yeah. do that. We need a PSA. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Looking Three for orphans. I know. Hi, are you doing something really stupid? <laughs> uh, don't send that in as a video yeah. if you're doing it at work. Yeah, yeah. But the big question for Did this- you build a house? <laughs> Somebody who doesn't build houses? <laughs> <laughs> And that was from the Patreon episode. That was from the Patreon yeah, so episode. Go sign Patreon up right episode. now to go check it out. Patreon.com, Cats Plus. The biggest question is, it seems like overall, is that this man... Uh, sorry, this young lady. <laughs> yeah, is, you said that like three times. It was times so long now. ago, well, though. Because it's always it's been so 20 many. minutes. Was it, the, it was the nose rings. The it problem the is rings. that a lot of people, if, if you don't smoke, you don't get that break. If you're just standing around having a little whipped cream or a little cut of pie or something at work, they'll get on your ass. But if you want to go outside and have a cigarette, you get that extra time. Very so, interesting point. There's yeah. always been an issue with smokers and non-smokers at restaurants. Like, why does they get to go out? Yeah, I want just, a pie break. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I want six minutes to go sit outside by the dumpster right. and just have a snack. And think, or just even, how about think? Yeah. Can I do, can I have my think break? Yeah. No. Can I go smoke? You got it. Wait, yeah. are you, wait, I don't <laughs> think that's real. You, are you telling me that other than your scheduled 10 minute break, 
you get an extra no, smoke no, break. No, 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 we're joking. You need oh, that. No, yeah. well, most mostly we didn't have no 10 minute break. We just had, hey, can I go have a smoke break? And so at a certain point in the night at the restaurant, you go get yeah, a smoke break yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, but if you were I just like, hey, I just want to go have a break and you didn't smoke, you'd have to go hide in the shitter and eat a piece of pie or, you know, <laughs> help down the a piece of The best way cake. to eat pie, honestly. While you're shitting. <laughs> well, we'd stay in there. We didn't shit and eat. Yeah, wow. This shitting and eating at the same time is insane. You right? just stay there forever. It never stops. <laughs> but is it insane? Do you just keep eating and shitting and <laughs> oh, yeah, eating and crazy. shitting. No, because no. that would mess with your whole smell thing. Like, yeah. No <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're saying. I'm just man. asking. Y'all saying it's so yeah, serious. Yeah, don't fuck, dude, bro. Don't hey, don't freaking come down on him because he don't know what's happening. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. It's, uh, yeah. It's, I don't know what's <laughs> happening with you guys. Yeah. You well, have some weird shit going shitter. on. Yeah, he has whipped cream breaks. Like, I don't know where the fuck. <laughs> He's eating damn blood labia. <laughs> <laughs> Both of you guys, you fucking with blood all over your face, being like, to the bathroom, and he's eating pie on the shitter. Yeah. Are you done? I need to wash my face. <laughs> <laughs> two, the two fucking, the worst roommates <laughs> ever. <laughs> Yeah, oh, and Chris is just on the couch like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you guys doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I hope it's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> and the Lord doesn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> he might. He might. <laughs> He's coming around. What up, King of the Sting in the Wing? This is Zach from Charlotte, North Carolina. And I got to king it or sting it for you. Wearing traditionally feminine things or clothing items or jewelry as a straight guy. Mm. Um, I coach high school baseball. So I hear it all the time. Yeah, I'm sure they make fun of it. You yeah. know, I hear that the, they make fun of it all the time, the fact that I wear this butterfly necklace. Mm -hmm. But I think the fact that most straight guys wouldn't wear a butterfly necklace is the reason I should wear a butterfly necklace. Yeah, um, yeah but... So I guess that's a statement, if you want to call it that. It's a statement, yeah. But anyway, yeah, King of the Sting It. Um, big fan of all of you. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. So I think that's cool. Um, that is actually pretty feminine. I mean that that mm. butterfly. It's like pink. Yeah, but he's also a, like a he's an attractive guy. Yeah, right. So he's oh. getting away with all kind of shit. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? Yes, like, I like, do. Like it's Fair not point. like it's, it's not like yeah. me saying this. Fair point. You know what I mean? If I got a butterfly, like what do y'all think of my butterfly thing? Appended. Yeah, oh, you know yeah. what I mean? You're Please like, hey, do, dude. dude. But this guy's like really attractive. So he, yeah. you know, there's no rules for a guy that looks like that. Guy can wear eyeliner. They're not they're not teasing him because he has a butterfly next. They're teasing him because he's got like fucking. You know, right? Because he's because yeah. he's a good looking dude, and yeah. he can get it. So, what yeah, would they yeah, tease yeah. you about then? Say again. What would they tease you about? It'd be different. It'd be that's like, what he's saying. I don't know. And that's a good recognition. You want me to, you want to go back to my childhood trauma, Chris? <laughs> <That's what I'm laughs> saying. <Yeah. laughs> and I'm sitting here just like, <laughs> and then they used to call me. <laughs> That'd be a good. Rec that's a good recognition what you're doing, but because mm -hmm. the problem with this guy is, if he put on a wig, he would still be beautiful. If he he on a he's woman. fine. Let's just be honest. Right. So he can be both man and woman yeah, if he wants a to. He's he got, got that luxury. He got an adro androgynous sort of yeah. like, and that's called a luxury. That's called a luxury. Yeah. So what? What is he talking so he's about, got that, dude? Uh, he just do swimming in pussy for sure. Maybe I mean he should look. You want to do it? Do it. It's not like he's exactly fucking Jared Leto over there carrying his head doing something outlandish. But he you could, know he's doing he what he wants. Be, if he carried his fucking uh, a mannequin head of his at the fucking softball game in high he school, just had his head he'd right get here. fired. Round yeah. second, yeah. go! Yeah. He could go, be. go 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> Holding this head, making this one do it. But he can get a dude. Guess different. what we're playing today, guys? A double header. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> the best runner of the of the fucking episode. <laughs> this guy could be easily. Yeah, this dude is too. He's too good looking. Yeah, he could yeah, be yeah. man or woman. Yeah, yeah. So it's okay. I, what I'm saying is yeah. right. He could wear fishnet. He could wear a choker right, if he wants. Right. They're, he teasing, wear they're not teasing him because it's feminine. They're right. teasing him because he can get away with it. Right. Wow, very interesting, dude. I I like your analysis of this, Eric. Yeah, I really like your analysis. It's true. If Eric puts that bitch on, people gonna be like, "Damn, who's this little pudding pop over here?" You know, <laughs> mm -hmm. here we go. <laughs> who's here we go, everybody? Yeah, no, I'm just saying, who's this little Nature Channel fuck bear over yeah. here? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Where, okay. Yeah, other yeah. people. I, I think the two examples are good. Ew, <laughs> shoot him, put him down. <laughs> okay, I think that we we've, we've Fire established. Fire fucking. <laughs> we've established. Get it. the flamethrower. Char <laughs> him up. Oh right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who want that grilled biscuit? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him and char him. Nick, Nick, what's the next one? <laughs> That's all we got. We're stuck on this. Oh, one. <laughs> well, Crystalia.com. I will be in Atlanta, Boston, Denver. I will be in. Uh, a bunch of different places. Jacksonville, Savannah, Georgia, amazing places. So go check. Uh, I got uh, crystalia.com, Cheyenne, Wyoming. And I am at Riffin with Griffin. So check me out there. Check out my podcast too. And, you know, 
I have my tour dates are. I haven't put the new ones up yet because I don't even know when this is coming out. Amen, baby. And I'll be actually coming up uh, in Albuquerque, New Mexico on May 16th or May 18th. Midland, Texas. Midland, Texas. Lubbock, Texas. Dallas, Texas. Those are all in May. Savannah. Savannah, Georgia. Augusta, Georgia. Montgomery, Alabama. And Columbus, Georgia. Those are all Hollywood, in Hollywood. Uh, Fort in Myers. Early Dayton. June. I'm going to be at Beach. Fort Myers, too. I got a bunch. Look, Lakeland, look at Florida. Look, just look at it. Guys, yeah. you don't got to fight about it. Nah, just because I forget. And then they pull his up. And then I'm like, ah, fuck. But, you know. Theovon.com slash tour. And thank you guys so much for the support, baby. Go see both of and us. And support Brendan. Check out his, um, his Brendan's Stockton. not here, so check out his uh, special. Guys. Oh, yeah. Check out Brendan's special. Oh, Washington, D.C., that one, too. I'll be there. Oakland, Stockton. You know. Interesting. Mm. All right. Well, dude, tour buddies. These are more bougie. Tour bros. His places are more bougie than your places. Well, you I, I do have Stockton and Oakland there. If I make it out alive. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. People like people are in my comments. See, Theo's, like, Theo's tours for like the the people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Glasgow. Yeah, mine are for the cult, the exclusive cult. Yeah, you can't get in. You can't get in unless you have. I a hope tattoo. you guys can get tickets. <laughs> <laughs> you just made everybody go. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I got I got to fucking make sure I can get into the Crystalia tour. <laughs> All right. You guys take care of yourselves. Yep. God bless everybody, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we made it the Perfect whole timing. show. Good timing. It's the king and the sting. Back up in the sting. I just got a call that said they want it at the wing. They got me working OT all night long. How many times I gotta make this song? Hey, hold on, what is this? Now y'all wanna switch? I'll just add a CB and Eric and they all adding Chris. How's that gonna fit? Wait, I get the gist. I just probably have to slow it down and hit it like this. It's the king, the wing, and the stink. Now, oh, it's the wing and the king and the stink. Now, hold on, hold on. Hold on, wait a minute, let me think. It's the king and the sting and the wing. Let's go. King and the sting and the wing. Brought it full circle and put on the whole team. Legendary trio, Brendan, Chris, and Theo. What you mean? You know it's the king and the sting and the wing.